In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at creating subtitles. In the previous lessons, we've looked at how to decide what kind of subtitle you want to use and where to put them in your subtitle timeline just above track number one. And then we looked in another lesson at how to enter text into your subtitle and how to format it. In this lesson, we're going to show you a different way in which to put text into subtitles or save text from subtitles. So we're going to look at these two icons in the subtitle room in this particular case. One says export as an SRT file. The other is import from an SRT or text file. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'll click on this icon here. And here I have several kinds of files that I have created. I have three that end in SRT and one that's a subtitle text. I created this personal one using Microsoft Notepad. So I'm going to click on that and uh, it's a text file and I'll click on open. It says this will replace all existing subtitle text. Are you sure? I am. I'll click on OK. And immediately it put in the text for each of my subtitles in this particular project. And if I want to go and look at the file I used, I have it here. I'll just drag it on the timeline. And this is the, sub, the text I created from Notepad. I just put one line for each subtitle. And that's all I had to type in to do that. So if you have a lot of subtitles in a project and you don't want to bother to enter them in by going to the subtitle room over here and typing them in these small panels, you can take a notepad or any similar text uh, producing piece of software and create a list just like I did here. And so all of these translate when I click on my folder here to import. So I'm going to do a control Z to undo that. And now we're going to, let's, let's see what, what we want to do if we want to import a different kind of file. I'll click on the folder again. I'll do SRT1, click on that, and click on open. I get the same warning, I click on OK. Okay, it says some can't be imported because they exceed the length of the video. So if you have long running subtitles and they're less than the length, of, they exceed the length of the video, you'll have to edit the space in there in order to make them work. This is another example of much too much text in a subtitle. I'll do control Z to undo that one. And we'll import uh, one of the other ones. Let's try uh, my example. And it'll say yes. And now it imported these particular texts uh, as I go through my timeline. And I get to see what they look like. So that's uh, an example. Uh, so this gives me another way to do that. Now let me show you something else. We'll do Control Z again to undo all that. And uh, let's just click on this one first. And then we'll double click on the second one. Second uh, will be really creative here. Third. Okay. The fourth one. And let's say we don't want the fifth one. Well, we can just click on the minus here and make that subtitle go away. So I have four. If I want to save these for this project or put them in another project later, I can export them as an SRT file. I'll click here and it takes me to the same subdirectory I've been saving stuff in. And I will put uh, exported file. And I just saved it now as an SRT file. If I do control Z and undo this whole thing, I can go ahead back here and import it. Here's my exported file with the SRT file extension. Click on open 
and I get my message and it brought them back in. So you can uh, enter information into to uh, PowerDirector and export it as an SRT using this option or you can import either an SRT file that you created earlier or a text file when you want to put specific information in your subtitles in CyberLink PowerDirector. Thank you.